Hello guys! And you know, Russian war in Ukraine gave me a new hobby that I share with many of you. And that is learning more about Russian cities based on the destructions of military objects there. And fortunately, Ukrainian armed forces provide us with enough materials. So today we will travel virtually to Russian Bryansk and Tahanroch, where loud explosions were heard and people went into panic. But it feels like I'm getting another hobby, also sponsored by Ukrainian armed forces, and that is counting the destroyed Russian aircraft. Minus two more today, and that is five jets in just three days. But what else can you do when you're still waiting for F-16s and you need to stop your enemy's aviation from bombing your positions? Let me tell you more about these really good things in the video. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. Honestly, I think this is a very important breakthrough, how Ukrainian air forces managed to use air defense system to destroy Russian bombers. You all know that Russia dominates in the number of jets they can use to bomb Ukrainian positions to cause terror and destruction on all the territory of Ukraine, and we're still waiting for F-16s. According to the last announcement, they may come to Ukraine in June. I think we needed them desperately last June, but we do need them now, and until then, no other choice but destroy Russian SUs. Fortunately, we are able to do it and really effectively. Today, one Su-34 and one Su-35 were downed, shot down by Ukrainian air forces and some were lost in the waters of the Sea of Azov. Unfortunately, this is bad for ecology, but all Russian war is bad for ecology and many other things, psychology, uh, economy, and most importantly, human life. But this is good because we've stopped these bombers. We managed to uh, let them travel close so that air defense systems can reach them and down them. But what is most important, on the 17th of February, this is just two days ago, Ukrainians destroyed three more Russian SUs. And I think that with such a pace, it may be that by June, <laughs> F-16s will not have Russian planes to work with. I don't mind. I like this idea. And um, this is important because once again, at the moment, Russia dominates with aviation. They have like many more, uncountably more uh, aircraft that they are using to bomb Ukrainian army. And by destruction of these uh, jets, they are not able to reconstruct them, to build new ones. I hope that at a certain moment of time, we will exhaust them. Remember to subscribe and demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine. Your support is very valued and needed, and we need to spread more information about Ukraine and Russian war crimes, so please do subscribe. And good news, uh, today there were lots of explosions and some destructions on the Russian territory in Bryansk. Bryansk is actually one of the oldest cities in Russia. It has close to half a million people and air defense systems were working there, air raid alert, and people went on panic. I did not hear about any serious explosions, but I've heard about waves of uh, fear and negativity because Russian population slowly awakens and tries to understand what is happening. Because according to Russian news, you know, they are winning this war for two years of already this is still a blitzkrieg but the reality is different and there are more and more explosions and legitimate targets destroyed on the territory of russian federation which is logical or war always returns home we have to remember that and we have to remind that to invaders daily in Tahanrok there were also explosions this is a port on the sea of azov and a very interesting fact until 1924 this was a ukrainian city actually the borders of ukraine were bigger than they are in 1991 and many of now russian territories were previously ukrainian 
But we do respect international agreements and world order, and we understand that literally any country can review its borders from uh, the Stone Age up to the 21st century. So at a certain moment of time, we all agreed and we respect uh, other borders and we want the same. 1991 is what we expect and what we will return, which means Crimea is Ukraine and all the temporarily occupied territories will return back to Ukraine. I know Russian trolls like to manipulate in comments, but a beautiful reminder since the start of invasion 2022, we have already returned more than 50% of those territories that were occupied, taking into account slow supply, taking into account a huge country that is fighting against us with all the resources collected since the times of the Cold War, I think these are really great results. There were also explosions of an oil depot in the temporarily occupied Makivka in the Donetsk region, and of course these oil depots at the moment are used to supply Russian tanks and um, Russian forces, but when these territories return back to Ukraine, I'm sure uh, they will be rebuilt and many of you will see the beauty of Ukraine in the east, in the south, in the west, in the center and everywhere because Ukraine is indeed a beautiful country that simply wants to live its life. We don't need anything from Russia. It is only Russia that constantly needs something from more successful countries around it, like Ukraine, like the Baltic countries, like Poland, they cannot simply live with other people's success. Uh, they cannot build it inside their own country, uh, but they don't want to let others live. And guys, there is no other way but stop Putin, stop Russians because they support him in millions and then very seriously work with that population for the next couple of decades. It's not a way to wait, not to escalate, because the longer we wait, the longer we pretend that uh, negotiations are possible, or let's try and speak, or let's try and understand, the more Putin's bullying abilities grow. And you've all heard about his idea to send nuclear weapons in the space. Let me know, would you like a video on that? Because this is actually an absurd that needs to be punished at the very start of this idea. And I don't see a lot of confidence uh, in even in NATO. Let me know if you want a video about that in the comments below. Thank you so much for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons and helping me film more videos like that. I'm grateful and blessed to have you in my life. Remember to check our merch shop and also join my Instagram. Uh, threads, Twitter, Discord. I'm active on these social platforms. Be careful and never uh, answer uh, invites to Telegram or WhatsApp from scammers who pretend to be me. I never invite you to chat. And most importantly, united we stand and do persuade those who doubt, your politicians, opinion leaders, uh, people who are indifferent, that we need to stop and punish Russia because unpunished evil grows. And only after this regime collapses, only after Russians realize their mistakes and the tragedy that they caused for many nations all over the world, only then we can start living a new normal life. Thank you for your support and understanding. Slava Ukraini!